Hello. Um, good morning. I have done a video about options. I say options are risky, and I give some uh, something to uh, to explain what where is the risk. Now I will I will give you an example. Okay. So um, suppose you buy one thousand dollars. You have one thousand dollars. This is your capital. And the stock now, for example, the stock price is ten dollars. Okay. And you, you said that in one month. Okay, one month from now, I will buy options contracts. Okay, options contracts with this one thousand dollar, wherever it is. Okay, for example, you buy, uh, let's say, fifty contracts, fifty option contracts, and you buy them, for example, with one thousand dollars. Okay, the strike is twelve. What does it mean, the strike? It means if the stock goes from 10 to 12 and then it goes from 12 on more money, you will have, you will begin to have a big profit. Okay? This is, the strike is 12. This is called out of the money. It's an options out of the money. Out of the money. It means, what does it mean out of the money? It means the stock is 10 and you are predicting that it goes to 12 and more in order to make money. So what do you do here? All your $1,000 goes to buy the time, buy the time from now to the expiration day, which is one month. Uh, when, you, when you go to check the options, they give you the expiration day near the strike. They say the strike is uh, 12 and they give you the expiration day. For, uh, most of the time, it's 22 of each month, 22nd of each month, or depending on each, uh, on each stock, okay? So you should see when the, the contracts are expired, okay? Now, see this. That's why I told you that options are riskier. They have too much risk. I will, I will give you um, a confirmation on how it is too risky. For example, I give you this example. You buy 50 options, uh, 50 or 60 or 70, depending on 1,000. Okay, you have 1,000, I buy all, all these options. That's, that will end in 22nd of this month. So I have, like, I have one month. If the stock goes, suppose that the stock, by the end of this 22nd, it goes to 11. Now, what will happen to your money? Because you buy only the time, 1,000, you, you don't buy the intrinsic value. This money, you will lose all your capital. You will have zero. Okay? You will have zero, which means you lose all your money that you bought with. Why? Because the price now is 11, it doesn't go to 12 or 13 or 14 in order to make money. Do you see how much money you can uh, lose in, in these options? And believe me, I will give you a challenge. Go to, uh, um, to other channels. Go to other channels speaking about options, and they say, "Oh, uh, options are very easy. You can make too much money. And you can, okay, you can make make too much money if, if you are with the with the, with a trend. You are with a stock that goes more than two twelve uh, twelve dollars. But they don't tell you that you you are going to take all your money and to put it at one hundred percent risk." This, no one will tell you. I will tell you this. Now, why I am telling you this? Because it happens to me. Okay? I learned this the hardest way. So, you learn about options. Okay, 
you have small money or little money, you can double it, you can uh, uh, make uh, two times, three times, four times your money and you get, you get excited with all these online things and you say, okay, I will be a millionaire in one month or two because of this $10,000. But you, you don't know that you are gambling a lot of money, a lot of risk. But if the stock goes out of 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, yes, you can make $500, you can make $1,000 more. You, are, you can make too much money compared to, to what you have. Okay? Now, uh, when, I, when I tell you uh, always... Try to think about the risk because a professional thinks about the risk before he does a trade. Okay, a beginner he do the, he does a trade and then he doesn't know how much risk is in this trade. That's why this is the only difference. It's not because the professional knows the future. A professional doesn't know the future. Okay? So, in this example, you buy the time, the time ends, you don't have, it stops at 11, so you lose all your money. Okay? So you lose all your capital. Suppose that you, you put, you are sure, you think that you are sure that the stock will go up because some news, uh, you have, um, let's say, um, Let's say we have a good news, we have a, a report, good earnings, and you think that this then will become like 15 or 20. So you will make money for sure. There is no sure thing in stock market. Believe it or not, there is no. If you think there is sure thing, show me. Show me what is the sure thing. There is no sure thing. A sure thing is the broker, uh, broker's firm. They take commission. This is a sure thing. But there is no sure thing in this trade. Now, um, I will, I will uh, tell you again about a beginner and a professional in anything. A professional, when he wants to do a trade, he do a trade, he thinks about risk. He is not excited to do the trade. He should, he should calculate. It is math. I told you always that trading, investing is math. You should calculate if the market goes against you, what you will do? How much money you give to the market? Okay? I cannot give, I cannot put a trade $1,000. Okay? $1,000 and with 100% risk. This is gambling. This is gambling. It's no more investing or trading. Okay? So, like the example you have seen, it is a gambling thing. Why? Because the risk is too much. All your capital will be gone. And suppose you put 10,000, you have only 10,000 in your account, 10,000. And suppose that the strike that the price doesn't go to the strike and you lose all your money. So you lose all your money for sure. This is a sure thing. Now, the beginner, what does he do? The beginner, they do the trade. Then later, he tries to see the results. But in his mind, in the beginner's mind, he thinks that there is a hope And there is luck that he will win this trade. Now, hope and luck will never help you do trades and investing. You shouldn't, you shouldn't rely on yourself on this thing. You should rely on the risk and reward thing. Risk and reward. Okay? Risk and reward in options or in, in, in anything else. This is in general. Okay? Now, <clears throat> For example, I give you another example. Add the money. Suppose the stock is ten dollars, the price, and you buy options. Add the money. You buy them. The strike is ten. Ten dollars. Okay. It's the same. It means it's add the money. 
you are at the mall and you say in the future you buy for example <clears throat> you have one thousand dollars in your account you say okay I will buy all one thousand dollars I have in the account and I am sure that the stock if it goes more eleven I will make some money here okay now either it is one month or two months or three months it's not important the thing but uh, if you have two months or three months or six months you will pay too much for the for the for the time okay suppose that this 9.99 after this after the strike this is the stock 10 and it expires for some seconds 22nd of the month or 23rd or something and then your stock goes one cent down you know what does it mean one cent down it means you will lose all your money because it will be out of the money so you lose because you say it goes 10 uh, here uh, I'm, I'm sorry I, I forgot all here I'm speaking about about calls all I, I, I say is calls because you think that the stock goes up okay I'm speaking all the last example this example about calls uh, I, I, I just didn't say the calls I forgot all are calls it means if the stock goes down with one cent you will lose all your money when the strike expires it means when the option expires Okay, so you see how much risk there is in options. Anyone who tells you that this, that buying stocks is like buying options, the risk is the same. You say him no. Give him this example. Okay, if you an example, if you buy a stock, for example, ten dollars. In theory, it can go to zero. It can go to zero, but it will not happen that much, okay, from 10 to zero, one, less than 10 cents, okay, it could happen, but it is, it's, it's like, it's rare, but the options, it happens each month, it is not something that it is there, it happens with all the stocks that have options, people, they just, they are having more risk, and more gambling because they say if if the stock goes from 10 to 12 or 13 I will make a lot of money from this okay but you should when you think about the reward you should think about the risk is that you can risk all your money on the on the on the options and then you, you lose a lot of money uh, puts is the same thing it means it's is it's the same thing when when we have the uh, uh, it means the direction if it's going up or down. Okay, this is just um, um, another view of the options, how risky they are. You can make too much money from it, but if you are uh, with the trend, if you are right, okay, in the stock market and in stocks, it goes down and up, but you can lose money, but it is not the same as, as options. Options is a disaster. If you if you lose, you can lose too much money. Okay, so think a lot before you do a trade in the options and think what is the risk and reward. If it if you, if you make money, how much you think you can make money? And but if you lose, you how much you lose? This is the most important thing. How much you lose? Okay, so you shouldn't lose that much from your capital because if you lose. If you have ten ten thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars, this is your capital. You put it in a trade options, and you lost. You lose. You lose all your capital, and you cannot trade anymore. But even in the stock, it, you cannot you can lose all your money in the stock. Okay, you can lose five, ten, twenty, thirty, fifty percent, but you will never lose. Uh, all your money in the thing and you can sell if you, you see that it's going down you can sell you can do with uh, uh, with uh, with the option but you sell only the time you don't sell the interesting value 
Okay, thank you very much. If you have any questions about these options, please ask and I will answer in due time. Thank you very much.